Pangolin is a community-driven decentralized exchange for Avalanche and Ethereum assets with fast settlement, low transaction fees, and a democratic distribution, all powered by Avalanche. In this lesson, we'll resolve any prerequisites required to get started trading on Pangolin. This will involve installing MetaMask, connecting it to Avalanche, funding it with some Avox, including a cross-chain swap as needed, and lastly, learning how to add and display custom tokens. Installing MetaMask. MetaMask is a cryptocurrency wallet and gateway to blockchain applications. It can be installed as a browser extension for Chrome, Firefox, Brave, and Edge, as well as a native download for iOS and Android. Here, we're installing it as a Chrome browser extension. For that, we head on over to the Chrome Web Store and install MetaMask. It will present you with a list of permissions. If you agree, add the extension. Installing, creating, and backing up a MetaMask account is beyond the scope of this tutorial. We will presume you have done that. So now when you click Get Started, you want to import a wallet. No thank you on giving them usage statistics. And we want to paste in the seed phrase which you get whenever you back up a MetaMask account. So we paste that in here. We give it a password. We agree to the terms of use and we import it. And it says congratulations. So the first thing to notice is that MetaMask connects by default to the Ethereum mainnet. We want to click this drop down and go to custom RPC and we're going to add a new network. The network name is Avalanche. The RPC URL is going to be HTTPS api.avox.network slash ext slash bc slash uppercase c slash rpc. This URL will enable MetaMask to speak to the C chain's RPC. Next chain ID, which is 43114, however, MetaMask likes it to be in hexadecimal form. Next, our currency symbol, which is, of course, Avox, and our blockchain explorer URL, which is cchain.explorer.avox.network. This will enable MetaMask to deep link out to a blockchain explorer for transactions and blocks and accounts and contract calls, etc. Now we save, and we can see that this was successful and that MetaMask is now successfully connected to the Avalanche C chain. Before we fund it with Avox, we want to learn how to add custom tokens. And so we're going to actually add the PNG token. And for that, we go to add token. And then in custom token tab, we paste in the token contract address for PNG. And you can see the MetaMask instantly went out and discovered that that was PNG. And we can now add it. So you can see that this account has zero PNG for now, but in the next step, when we finally make it to Pangolin and do some um, swaps, we will have PNG. So this is useful to know how to add custom tokens because very, very soon we are going to have many different custom tokens. So here we add tokens. You can see we have zero ping for now, zero PNG. Lastly, we want to fund this account with some Avox. And for that, we jump over to our web wallet, similar to backing up a MetaMask account being out of the scope of this lesson, also creating and backing up an uh, Avalanche web wallet is out of the scope of this lesson. We will presume that you have a web wallet and that it has some Avox. You can see that here in this web wallet, there are over 10 Avox, but they're all on the X chain. We need them to be on the C chain. And so for that, we go to cross chain. We're starting on the X chain and we're going to the C chain. We're just going to send one and then we want to say confirm transfer. And so you can see this is doing a cross chain swap from the X chain and export and that was successful. It's now doing a, a C chain import transaction also successful. And you can see that the balance on the wallet is automatically updated and the X chain balance decreased by one Avox and the C chain balance increased by one Avox. So that was a cross chain swap using the wallet. 
And now we want to jump over to MetaMask and get the address of that account. And we go in the web wallets, send tab. We're going to send on the C chain and we paste in our address there. We'll confirm the address is correct in a second. And then over here, we want to send the max. And you can see it's right below the balance of one because of course we have to pay a fee. And so whenever we click confirm, it gives us the opportunity to confirm that everything we um, have here is correct before we finally send it. And so in this particular case, we want to jump over to MetaMask and confirm the first four characters are DD17, DD17, and the last four characters are 4A57, 4A57. So this all looks good. We're going to send this transaction. It's now doing a C chain send. It's successful. You can see the balance updated over here and the C chain balance decreased to zero. And if we jump on over here to MetaMask, it takes um, a second for the blocked update. There we go. So now this account has right below one AVAX and we are ready to connect to Pangolin and start doing some swaps, which will be in our next lesson. Thank you so much.